January 1st. I'm Justin Carter. Happy New Year to everyone out there. There's lots to celebrate this morning, especially for Bills fans. But first, the one, the only meteorologist Marty Snyder <laughs> here for a first check of the forecast. Hey, Marty. Now, a man could face criminal charges after being hit by a train in Fairport Saturday night. Police in Brockport are investigating after fake $100 bills were used at six businesses in the village. President Trump is trying to revive health care talks by reaching out to Democrats. He tweeted today that he spoke to Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer. 8.30. 8.30. Yeah, time's it. flying by with you. I know. I it must know, be a lot like of it. fun. I know. That's how I like <laughs> it. So we always talk about New Year's resolutions, but what about your resolutions for your kids? Well, Dr. Elizabeth Murray gives us a hand with those as well. But first, let's get a check of that forecast. Jennifer Johnson live at Embody on University Avenue for a free health and wellness expo taking place today. Jen Johnson, what's going on? Uh, inspiration is what's going on. You're a beast, Jen Johnson. I don't want anybody to be fooled out there. Do you remember when there. I had those great arms like a year ago? <laughs> it's these folks here who did that for me. Kind of not that know. way since. I'm but. on my way. <laughs> so I wore the, these are the, um, the famous moon boots that I wear. Um, I heard that they were popular in the 80s. A little bit nervous. <laughs> 20 more. Okay. 20 more. Okay. You're almost there. One down, 20 to go. New tonight, a Boy Scout troop taking time to recognize our first responders. Boy Scout Troop 130 hosting their right. annual Lighthouse right. District Camper Read today. All right, so Marty, can we talk about you for a second? You're up. It's 1145 at night. Yeah. How are you doing? He's our morning guy, everybody. So I'm concerned I'm about you. I'm awake. Okay. I'm awake. I feel all right. <laughs> How I feel Monday morning, that's the other question. <laughs> yes. You're watching Fox Rochester. And this is Good Day Rochester. Drought is over. The Bills going to the playoffs for the first time in 18 years. It's making for a wild celebration to open 2018 here in Western New York. Plus, that celebration is spilling over into the early hours of New Year's Day as fans greet the Bills at the Buffalo Airport around 1 o'clock this morning. This is Good Day Rochester on Fox Rochester for this Monday, January 1st. I'm Justin Carter. Happy New Year to everyone out there. There's lots to celebrate this morning, especially for Bills fans. We're bringing you fan and player reaction from last night's big game. And Jennifer Johnson will be live in Rochester at a free health and wellness expo. But first, the one, the only. Meteorologist Marty Snyder here for a first check of the forecast. Hey, Marty. Yeah, good morning, Justin. Morning. Happy New good, Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you, too. Yes. And uh, today, unfortunately, just another cold day for us. Wish I had some better uh. news to start the new year. All right, and here's Mike Bowen with the check on the Time Saver traffic report. Oh, okay, Mike Bowen, not here. But that is Terry driving the Chevy Mobile Weather Authority. That's in the city of Rochester. You can see the uh, the snow-filled streets there. You can see some tracks, though. That's the scene at a lot of places here around town. That's, again, live uh, here in the city of Rochester. We'll take a look a little bit later. Bills fans are kicking off the new year in a position they haven't been in 18 years, getting ready for a playoff game. 2017 ended with a Bills win combined with a Ravens loss. That is the Bills in the playoffs for the first time since 1999. That's, that was before Y2K, by the way. The, the Bills needed a win in Miami along with some help from other teams yesterday afternoon. The Bills almost blew a 19-0 lead yesterday. The Dolphins made a furious comeback attempt in the final minutes and recovered an onside kick to get the ball back with a chance to win in the final minutes. But Jordan Poyer came up with an interception that sealed a 22-16 win for the Bills. The Bills finished the regular season with a 9-7 record. And right after that win in Miami, the Bills headed into the locker room to watch the end of the Bengals-Ravens game. If the Ravens won, they would make the playoffs over the Bills. But the Bengals were down to their last chance on the fourth down in the final minute when Andy Dalton threw a touchdown pass to Tyler Boyd to give the Bengals the lead. The Ravens, the Ravens had one chance but couldn't convert for a first down, and they lose to the Bengals 31-27, sending the Bills to the playoffs and setting off a celebration in Western New York and in the Bills locker room right there in Miami. <laughs> I get chills every time I see this video and then you see Bills fans inside the stadium in Miami after the Bills Dolphins game ended watching the end of that Bengals Ravens game on TV and just moments later 
That celebration continued into the early morning as 2017 turned into 2018. Bills fans greeting the team at the airport as they return home to Buffalo from Miami around 1 o'clock this morning. And the Bills win was especially thrilling for Kyle Williams. He's in his 12th season with the Bills and had never been to the playoffs until now. Mike Catalana joins us from Miami with his reaction. With the Bills in Miami, Mike Catalana, 13 Wham Sports. Mike Catalana without a jacket there. So as the Bills get ready to head to Jacksonville to face the Jaguar Sunday, we've got you covered all week on all platforms here on 13 Wham News. Our sports team is heading back to Orchard Park this morning with more reactions from the Bills and how they're preparing for their first playoff game in 18 years. Our coverage continues all week right here on 13 Wham News as well as on 13wham.com and on Facebook and that Twitter. Festivities in Western New York may have taken a back seat to celebrating the Bills, but a huge crowd turned out in New York City for their annual Times Square New Year's Eve celebration. Thousands of people braved frigid temperatures to see the iconic ball. It was 10 degrees in Times Square, the second coldest temperature on record for New Year's Eve there. And President Trump wasting no time looking ahead to the new year. He tweeted last night wishing everyone a happy 2018, saying in part, quote, I want to wish all my friends, supporters, enemies, haters, and even the very dishonest fake news media a happy and healthy new year. 2018 will be a great year for America. In Rochester holding its own New Year's celebrations, there was dancing, arts, and crafts, along with a DJ at the Riverside Convention Center. The Family Fund also included free music and ice skating at the St. or Martin Luther King Jr. Park ice rink. Yeah, it's pretty cold, but it's fun. Uh, to have some fun and skate, we've never been here, so we wanted to get away. We're from Oswego, New York. We thought it'd be fun to go skating. We wow. were trying to find something fun to do, so, and it's close and it was easy. And despite the cold, many bars and restaurants in the city were still expecting big crowds as this marks the first New Year's Eve that Uber and Lyft services were available right here in Rochester. Now, a family of five from downstate New York are among the 12 people who died after a plane crash in Costa Rica. All 10 passengers on the plane were Americans. Two Costa Rican pilots also died in that crash. The plane had just taken off from a nearby runway and had problems shortly into the flight before it crashed and burst into flames. It's unclear what caused that crash. Now, flags in Colorado will be lowered until Tuesday in honor of a sheriff's deputy killed in what is being called a police ambush. Police were called to an apartment complex on for, for a disturbance call yesterday morning. They say a man then began shooting, firing off more than 100 rounds and forcing wounded deputies to crawl for safety. The suspect was later killed. Six others were also injured. Now, a man could face criminal charges after being hit by a train in Fairport Saturday night. Police say the man had minor injuries, but after that, the train stopped. The conductor couldn't find him. Police found him 20 minutes later and say he was uncooperative. Investigators are working to determine what caused a house fire on Rochester's northwest side yesterday. It happened on Palm Street near Dewey Avenue. Crews had to call a second alarm because they needed more manpower due to the cold weather. No one was home at the time and there were no injuries reported, but the house received heavy damage. Firefighters say the home did not have, uh, have smoke alarms there. And another fire in Rochester remains under investigation this morning. It happened at a home on Milton Street around 4.30 yesterday afternoon. Everyone got out safely. The fire damaged the attic and the second floor, but no injuries were reported there. Police in Brockport are investigating after fake $100 bills were used at six businesses in the village. Police say these suspects purchased something small, then took the change and left. Officers believe it was the same three suspects there. No arrests have been made in the case so far. It is time to answer our question of the day. Earlier on 13 when we asked this question. The Bills are in the playoffs for the first time in 18 years. When was the last time they hosted a playoff game and who was the opponent? Here's the answer for you. 1996 against the Jaguars, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Coincidentally, the same opponent they will play this year. 
The Bills lost that game 30 to 27. It was Jim Kelly's last game before he announced his retirement. Here's what's coming up on well, Good Day Rochester as we continue through 9 o'clock. At 8.05, we're breaking down the best way to stay hydrated for health during cold winter months. Lifestyle blogger Emily Carpenter, my friend, she stops by to see us. And then at 8.15, 2017 seemed to feature a new political headline nearly every single day. We'll look back at the ones that made the biggest splash. And then at 8.20, we always talk about New Year's resolutions, but what about those New Year's resolutions for your kids? Dr. Elizabeth Murray gives us a hand with those. But first, the jackpot keeps growing. How much the Powerball and the Mega Millions drawings are worth right now? We'll be right back.